All right, fam, in the kitchen this morning, get ready to fix some breakfast for the queen. I decided that I wanted to do something a little different today. But usually I fix either eggs, bacon, toast, or pancakes, or waffles, something like that. But this morning, I'm gonna make her a breakfast quiche, or make us a breakfast quiche. Um, I actually used to make this breakfast quiche all the time. And matter of fact, I used to make it for her coworkers. They used to beg me to make this recipe for them because it is delicious. And what I'm gonna do for y'all, I'm gonna link the ingredients and the directions on how to make it below. All right, so last night we did go to Kroger and we got the pie crust we needed, but I swapped out the milk too, so we didn't get the milk that we got from Littles. But now it's time to go ahead and make this day go on breakfast quiche, y'all. Here is the ingredients. So it's basically only cheese, spinach, pie crust, onion, butter, cream cheese, three eggs, pepper, salt, uh, sausage, milk, and Worcestershire sauce. All right, so let's get this breakfast crack a lacking, Mike. stay in the oven for about 30 minutes or two it gets set so I just keep watching it and I will gonna show y'all this bad boy once she finish mine because she gonna be delicious there we go that's her right there man so I'm gonna let it set and cool off just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and crack it to it so y'all can see the inside man Yeah, man, there she go, there she go, there she go. So y'all, y'all haven't seen me on camera at all today, I don't think, but I've been trying to get myself together because time is winding down. Y'all can hear my husband back there playing. He's back into his musicianship, pray for my nerves. But um, but trying to get myself together because I don't know if we told y'all or not, but we have to go to a wake today. My mother's sister-in-law passed, who also was the first one of the um, mothers of the church that we came out of. So her funeral is tomorrow. Um, and if y'all know, I've probably been to maybe six funerals my whole life. I, they just do something to me. They take so much out of me. I just try not to go to funerals, but I do want to pay my respects. So we're going to go down, take that trip down to the country tonight, go to the wake, visit a couple of family members while we are in the area and then come on back. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Right now, my husband said he doesn't want to show it right now, but I want to talk about it. We got um, my UPS driver dropped off a box and I was like, I didn't order anything from this company. So Stanley, you open it up because I didn't want to open up a, a possible gift, which he shouldn't be buying me anything anyway. Well, he opens it up and he was like, hey, thank you, baby. And I was like, that ain't me, baby. I ain't order that. So now we're trying to figure out where it came from because it didn't come with a gift receipt or nothing. 
and it came to the house so it's definitely not someone from youtube because we don't put our home address out there like that and our p.o box is not forwarded to our home address so we don't know who so we're thinking it's one of his friends and so now we got to do the process of elimination because it's so personal that it's something that someone knows him knows him knows to get him something like that so it may not be as hard to narrow it down we have three people in mind so let the games begin so man you got to give him a verdict on that guy doing quiche this morning that i made man How oh that quiche was bomb i had two pieces <clears throat> my mama had some mm -hmm. and we got enough for tomorrow's leftovers yeah for tomorrow morning yeah it can carry over just one day so if you decide to go and try it just you know carry over one day after one day it's, it's gonna be crap <laughs> yeah. yeah but y'all we made it down to the country safe and sound and back and um as somber as the occasion was it was really good to see everybody yeah it was you know got to see some family we hadn't seen in a minute got to see our old church family yeah. like yeah we missed them yo yeah I got to see my goddaughter. Good times. Yeah, good got times to, back in the day. Yep, yeah, got to see my goddaughter. Hey, Dynasty, I know you watching. <laughs> um, what else? And then we came back and stopped by the most ghetto place that you could stop by. But we hadn't been in years. Like a Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah, that man, that chicken was good. First of all, man. When did a 12 piece start being $37? Yeah. So first of all, Stanley goes to the window and he was like, I want a 12 piece dog. You want a what? I said, said 12, 12 piece dog. What's that? What's that? I, huh? Stanley said a 12 piece dog. <laughs> a 12 chicken? piece dog. <laughs> oh, okay. So this, oh, uh, she was like, your size. So Stanley said, do y'all have any kind of greens, green beans and that? Nope. nope. <laughs> he said, dog. <laughs> nope. And, and, and uh, yeah. And that's on uh over there on Brook Road Two Key. <laughs> yeah. That's on Brook Road Two Key. You probably had that experience over there at that Popeyes too. But I will say this. Food was Food was bomb, bomb. though. Yeah, it was bomb. Um, they have some macaroni and cheese. I don't know if that's new or not. I, it could be, could be not. It's all over the sign, so I'm thinking that it's new. It ain't all that, but I mean, if you want a quick little Yeah, it, it was decent. Yeah, but what I will tell you is they poured a whole layer of cheese on the top of that joke before they baked it. Mm -hmm. So we just happened to have that big hump oh, yeah. <laughs> of cheese in it. But yeah, it ain't all that, but it's it's cool. Um, we got enough for tomorrow. But here's the thing, none of us in the house really eat breast. Because yeah. guess what? They ain't give us the dog no, meat we no. asked for. We get home and boom, we got, we got some titties in there. <laughs> So next time we better check that skit before we pull off. Hello, hello. Dude is bigger than mine up in there. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of felt like we wanted to go out this weekend, like maybe go to the lounge or whatever. But yeah, that's what we should do tomorrow. We should go to the lounge. Check. I'll check <clears> with <throat> me tomorrow. Yeah. Cause every time I say I feel like going, then when it's time to execute, it be like, mm, no, whatever. Hey, look. So if we end up at the lounge. Y'all will see us in the lounge on tomorrow. We decided not to go to the lounge tonight. It's the it's been raining all day here in the RVA, so it's the got us in that cuddling, one to relax at home type of vibe is going on now. So we just got finished eating the rest of the sushi that we bought at Sam's Club. But I told the queen I'm still hungry, and I said, you know what? It's a perfect time for me to try those macaroni balls with the bacon. You know, last time I did the ones with just the white cheddar, so we doing these ones now. So we're gonna go ahead and try the white cheddar and the bacon, man, and see how they taste. And just like the white cheddar, these ones are air fryer friendly. Cooking directions are the same. All right. Let's crack into them. Cheese falling out. Okay. They are good, but me personally, I would choose just the white cheddar by itself. The, the bacon with it is real good. And get me wrong, it's, it's real good. But to me, I, I think just the white cheddar by themselves. But I say if you a person who like bacon, like in your Maybe your mac and cheese or something like that. Maybe that's for you, but yeah, they're good. But I would, like I said, I would choose the white cheddar first. Good people. 
I literally just pulled my scarf off to get on camera because somebody was disturbing my peace because they were like, babe, you want to try one of these, um, these, um, mac and cheese bowls, right? I was like, I had mouthwash in my mouth. I was like, I'm just finished brushing my mouth, brushing my teeth. And he was like, okay, I, I want to get your verdict. I was like, all right. I come out here. I was like, okay, where they at? Oh, I don't eat them all. Mm. I ain't thought you were going to eat them because you just had brush your teeth. I can't. Like she said, mm, 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 mm. I, mm, mm. And then when she spit it out, she said, I just I just did the mouthwash. So I took it and she wasn't going to eat them right now. But I just put some more in there for both of us. I told him don't put no more in there because I really didn't want to try them. But I will try them if they was done. But now they're not done. And then he fixed them some more after I told him I don't. So <laughs> moral of the story is he just don't listen. That's the more of the story. Because I just said, don't put none in the air fry, me in the air fry. Y'all hear the air fry, right? Whatever. All right, let's go ahead and get the queen's verdict on these uh, these cheese balls and see uh, if her verdict is the same as mine. Because I didn't tell her what I thought about them yet. All right. These are the <clears throat> what? Cheddar and that's bacon? The, that's the white cheddar and bacon. They're good. I prefer the other ones. Okay. Yeah. Because some things bacon just don't need to be in. It just overpowers it. I think that was, this is, this is that case. Yeah. I said the same thing. I told him. Oh, them, okay. Yeah, I told the fam. I said they're good, but I prefer the other ones yeah. more. I said if you like that person who like bacon, like on your macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's <clears throat> it ain't going to go to waste. Yeah, but, but they are good. But uh, uh, I told them we, we decided to be home by this tonight because of the rain and stuff that's going on in the RBA. I just feel like being lazy. I'm tired. Why am I tired? I have no idea. You just want to be up on me for me. I don't because I legit have been in my own space all day. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so that's why I'm ready to get up on up on me for you. Oh, me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Can you get it off of me, y'all? Get it off of me. This is yeah. what happens when the camera is off. So, uh, okay, yesterday we kind of, I kind of dropped y'all off with having this package delivered that we didn't know where it came from and oh, having yeah. to do the process of elimination. So we're going to walk you to the tree. He got these. And like I told y'all, it was so specific to some of the things that he likes to do every now and then that we were like, someone definitely knows you. Yeah to send those. Yeah, so this dope. morning, I get a message from my cousin. And she was like, did Stanley's gift get delivered? Y'all probably already seen these and you put your cigar right there. Yeah, I see. I wish you had a cigar. I don't even think you have a cigar to even just uh, demonstrate it. Yeah, so man, thanks, thanks, Gus Street, man. These, I mean, this, this is excellent. And just like we tell all our people, this our family now, though. You didn't have to do it, <laughs> but I'm glad you did, because I'm definitely going to be using this, man, for sure, for sure. Appreciate y'all. Love you and Dwayne, man. Absolutely. Love y'all, man. Can't wait to see y'all. Yeah. For Christmas. For Christmas. So, family, we always put y'all on to the latest and greatest, and this was something that Stanley's mom said was bomb. Mom-in-law, love you. But mm -mm. Stanley got through it. I had one cup of it and I was like, mm-mm. And he was like, Lynette, something about it just tastes familiar. I said it tastes like Domitap. Like the cough syrup, it tastes like Domitap. Like it has that artificial, real sweet, just Domitap with a fizz. So we, we didn't like it, so he, he, I don't know how he finished it. But he finished it and got it down, but we won't buy that again. So we'll stick with the Canada Dry Cranberry. That's our jam. Um, don't know if y'all were waiting for a verdict for this, but we've had these over and over and over. They cool, Stanley loves them, but they cool with me. The dark chocolate, I already told y'all that I liked them when I ate one on, this is <laughs> second a, box. That's a second box. This is second box, y'all. 
Hey, but I'm gonna need I'm gonna need Nabisco to run me my money. Ah, uh, look, I need to make a run back to Publix to get me some more because all three of my boxes are gone. All three of them gone. So you know that means he gonna start eating into my boxes. But while she talking about, let, let me show you something else that could possibly take that whole Oreo experience to another level. I know where you going with this. Southern, Southern Comfort. Comfort eggnog, man, eggnog and them cookies. Delish. So if you are eggnog person and you like eggnog, give it a try, man. Come back and let me know what you think. Gotta let me know, cause I definitely combine them together. <laughs> Even <laughs> if you're not an eggnog person, I'm not. It's the texture thing for me. That's the only one that I can do. That one is bomb. Yep. Eggnog and Oreos, man. Equals 20 pounds by New Year's. <laughs> All right, Jamal, since you came through with the king and queen glasses, you know we definitely gonna have to drink us some Dark Horse tonight. Pinot Grigio Dark Horse. Let's go ahead and pour it up, baby. Let's pour it up. Let's pour it up. Got you on my mind. I don't know how to call this. Because it's Christmas time. Cheers to you, Jamal. Cheers to you and cheers to love, baby. Hey. Always and forever. <laughs> mm. So come, you keep me up all night. Oh, yeah. I ain't yeah. had dark horse in a hey. long time. <laughs> cheers to you, fam. Mmm. <laughs> this tastes like it's about to take me down. You hear me? To the ground. I had dark horse in a long time. Uh, mm. You know I. <laughs> you sideways already? I legit feel that. <laughs> I am such a lightweight man. <laughs> like when we were on the cruise, people was like, what drink took you down? I said, wine. Wine. I could drink tequila. I had margaritas. Didn't do nothing. Like, you know, you feel a little something. Wine, boom. Yeah, I feel, I feel it creeping up on me. <laughs> I saw your eyes. Cut that camera off. Something strange about to happen. But uh, <clears throat> smash that like button if you are if you are dark a dark horse fan too, man. You might need a dark horse to make it back, <laughs> to, your back room. to the room. Yeah. Please <laughs> 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 do. Damn. <laughs>